Thanks, Ganesh. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Hello, and welcome to your practice. Please get two yoga blocks if you have them. If you do not have a yoga block, or especially two yoga blocks, then who knows? Maybe you can get some sturdy water bottles or something else that will help the floor feel closer to you. Get set up with that and meet me on your mat. Here we are. Today's practice will be centered around the sixth limb of yoga. There are eight limbs. Asana is one of them we're practicing today. And we'll be practicing another one, the sixth one of dharana, which translates to a collection of your mind or concentration. And dharana translates to anything, any, any way in which you're concentrating on something in a single pointed way. So that might be on one idea. It might be on one place or concept, etc. And so today we will be working with Dharana on concentrating, using the power of our mind to focus on the sensations within the physical framework of our body. We will use the power of our mind to keep our awareness inside, really focused on the, on the physical sensations. That's how we are working with Dharana today and incorporating it into our practice. So let's start lying back. Please recline. Hug your knees into your chest and rock side to side or make circles. And then set your left foot down, really hug your right knee in towards your right shoulder, tight squeeze. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh so you're in a figure four shape. Soften your gaze or even close your eyes as you're here. And keep your legs in the figure four, but start to let them drop to your left side. Move both hands to your outer right hip thigh, if you can reach. And can you start to focus your awareness on your breath? And then use your breath to help you stay within the framework of your physical body, noticing the sensations in your body. Specifically now, I mean, anywhere, but specifically around your outer right hip and thigh. Inhale, come back to center. And use your hands to pick up your right lower leg. So your right hand is at your right knee, left hand is at your left foot, and hug your right shin in close to you. Activate your right foot, flare your right toes towards your right shin and dorsiflexion, and then start to draw your right knee towards the ground. It's kind of like a variation of happy baby. You're in a half happy baby with an external rotation of your right thigh, your femur. Right toes and knee point to your right side. You might even Use the help of your arms. Don't force it, but use the help of your arms to draw your right knee down. And this is external rotation of your right thigh. And it's what we'll be focusing on, kind of the physical through line through class, the peak action, if you will. Take another breath in. And then exhale, right foot down. Inhale, left knee to left shoulder. And then exhale, tight squeeze. Take a breath in. Exhale, left ankle over right thigh. Let your legs stay in the figure four, but drop them to your right side. Take both hands to your left side, or if you can, really reach for your outer left hip and thigh, both shoulders down, head neutral, back of your neck long, breathe. Focus your attention on your outer left hip and thigh.
Inhale, left leg through center. And then exhale, pick up your left leg, right hand to left foot, left hand to left knee. Bring your left shin closer in to you. Dorsiflex your left foot, so flare your left toes towards your left shin. Breath in. And then as you exhale, start to move into happy baby on your left side, but a variation where you try to keep your left knee and toes pointing to your left side. So it's an external rotation of your left thigh. If you look at the top of your left thigh, it's moving away from the midline of your body. And be gentle, but use some help, some strength from your arms to help your left knee get closer to the ground. Left toes and knee, push out and down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release. Left foot down, hug both knees in once again. Notice the difference as you rock side to side or make circles if you already start to feel a little more open through your outer hips and thighs. Straighten your legs, take your hands to the back of your thighs or simply use your arms at your sides. Rock yourself up into a seated position, hinge from your hips and fold. Rock back again, switch the crossing of your legs, come up and fold reach forward and do that one more time on each side. And then how about actually one more time, this time try to get yourself all the way up with your ankles crossed or not and meet me in a forward fold. Relax your head and your shoulders. Soften your knees. You can always walk your hands forward or use your blocks underneath your hands if need. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, root to rise. Stand tall, arms up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. And relax your arms down. Inhale. And exhale. All right, so shake your body out a little bit. And we'll continue in with this theme. You know, when you go and you watch like someone performing a dance, it looks so beautiful, graceful, effortless. And we'll even say that sometimes like, oh my gosh, like she just made it look so effortless. When really there was great effort put into her ability to make that look effortless, right? So what we're not seeing is probably the hundreds of hours of her doing the same leg lift over and over and over so that when she's performing, it looks streamlined, like so natural, right? And so Dharna, it does translate to, it's, it's effortful, it's effortful focus. And that effortful focus gives way to the seventh limb, which we're not getting into, but the seventh limb of, of effortlessness, right? An effortless kind of ability to be in the zone, if you will. So right now we're focusing on this effortful focus and I will give you lots of reminders. Let's continue to focus on the sensations of our physical body. It can be exhaustive, not necessarily easy. I'll keep giving you reminders. Let's stay in it. So once again, we have a physical focus of the external rotation of the thigh bone or the femur. And when you turn, right, your thigh out or away from the midline of your body, that's a lateral rotation or external rotation. Just for contrast, when you, if you look at the top of your left thigh, when it turns in, that's internal or medial rotation. We're focusing on lateral or external rotation of the thigh. Watch the top of my thigh. It turns out away from the midline of my body. And this is what we're focusing on today. So meet me at the top of your mat if you walked away or did something different <laughs> and make sure that you have your blocks within hands reach. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips down. Step your right foot back, keep your right knee lifted. When you inhale, squeeze your two feet towards each other until your hips lift a little. And then as you exhale, press down to your left heel until you feel your deep gluteus muscles activate, your buttocks muscles activate. Take a breath in. And then exhale, set your right knee down. Walk your hands back, walk your right knee back. Flex your left foot, rock onto your left heel and start to work your left leg towards straight. Some of you need to use your blocks and that's fine. Use them if it's hard for your fingertips to reach the ground. Inhale here, an anterior tilt through your pelvis, stick your butt up and back a bit behind you. Exhale, draw your front ribs in, grow your heart forward. Now, as you're here, Bring your awareness to the top of your left thigh. Let's work external rotation. Start to turn the knife edge of your left foot down towards the ground. It may or may not touch, but you're working towards that. You'll notice that the top of your left thigh now is turning outward away from your body. It's an external rotation of your thigh bone. Inhale back through center. Exhale once again, drop your left knife edge of your foot to your left side. Inhale through center. And for good measure, one more time. All good things come in threes. Drop to your left side. Inhale through center. Now exhale, bend your left knee. Walk your hands forward. Inhale, push back to plank. Exhale, lower your body all the way to the ground. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale down. Inhale, push up plank. Exhale, lift your hips, press them back, downward facing dog. When you inhale, bend your knees and do a major anterior tilt through your pelvis. So stick your sit bones up towards the sky. And then exhale, start to straighten your legs as much as you can. Inhale, lift into the strength of your shoulders. And as you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step, lunge or hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Relax your arms down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend knees, fingertips down. Step your left foot back. Keep your left knee lifted. Hands frame your right foot. When you inhale, squeeze your two feet together like magnets until your hips lift. Exhale, press down through your right heel, especially the outer edge of it, until you feel your right glute activate. Breath in. Exhale, set your left knee down, walk your hands back, walk your left knee back, unless you don't have a lot of space on your mat. <laughs> and start to work your right leg towards straight. Please use your blocks if needed. Right foot, dorsiflexed. Booty back and anterior tilt through your pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the outer edge of your right foot, the knife edge of your right foot down towards the mat so you see the top or the front of your right thigh moving away from the midline of your body. It's an external rotation of your thigh bone. Inhale through center. Exhale, external rotation or a lateral rotation. Inhale through center. And one more time, exhale, drop it out to your right side, just best you can. Inhale through center. Exhale, bend your right knee, walk your hands forward. You might need to scoot your left knee forward. And then inhale, push back, plank. Exhale, lower your body to the ground. Inhale, low or high cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, soften your knees. Exhale, engage your core and bring a big anterior tilt through your lower back, your pelvis. Inhale, start to straighten your legs any amount. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step, lunge or hop. Your feet to your hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Relax your arms down, breath in. Breath out. Use your breath to help you stay within the framework of your physical body. Inhale, feel as much as you can feel on your body. 
and then exhale here. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips down, step your right foot back, keep your right knee lifted. Inhale, press your left heel, especially the outer edge of it, until you feel your left glute activate. And as you exhale, rise up, shoulders stack over hips. Inhale, high lunge, arms up. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, ground your right heel, open your arms out to warrior two. Left knee over left ankle, left heel, bisects right arch of your foot. Take a breath in. Now when you exhale, move your inner thighs back a little bit like you want to sit in a stool, like a tall stool behind you. Stay there, draw your belly in, arms out. Left knee is bent over your left ankle. Now do a little assist here. Take your left hand to the outside of your left knee and push your knee into your hand. Keep your inner thighs back a bit, but squeeze them in towards one another. Squeeze your inner thighs in, keep that. Left heel presses down until you feel your outer left glute activate. All the while, you're pushing your left knee into your left hand, left knee back. Inner thigh squeeze in, left knee presses back. Take another breath in. Exhale, right hand to right thigh. Left arm up and over. Peaceful warrior, inhale. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down left and then right, come onto the ball of your right foot. And then when you inhale, start to straighten out your left leg, walk your hands back with you. Some of you might need to use your blocks. Please use your blocks underneath your hands if needed. You can make your feet so that you're more on a train track rather than tightrope. From here, flex your left foot, rock onto your left heel. Left foot stays active. Take a breath in, bring a bit of an anterior tilt through your pelvis, so stick your butt up and back. When you exhale, drop the outer edge of your left foot towards the ground, just as close as you can. We'll try to hold here for a breath in. And out. Inhale, toes move back through center. Exhale, bend your left knee, walk your hands forward, inhale, plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Set your knees down, untuck toes, inhale, high cobra, but you could always go back down to low. Exhale, roll over, knees and toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift into the strength of your shoulders, come high on the balls of your feet. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop. Feet to hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, chair pose. Hips back and down. Allow yourself to bring more of an anterior tilt through your pelvis, and then squeeze your belly in. Take your front ribs forward and lift your heart up. Inhale. Now exhale, drive down through both heels. Imagine you want to rip your mat apart with your feet. Inhale, feel that effortful focus. Focus on that sensation. Exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips down, step your left foot back, keep your left knee lifted. Press down through your outer right heel until you feel your right glute activate. Keep that inhale, rise up, arms up. Exhale, a little micro bend in your back knee, more weight into your front standing leg, breath in. And out. Inhale, windmill your arms open to warrior two. I'll turn so I'm facing you. As you exhale, take your right hand to the outer edge of your right knee and thigh. Keep that there for a moment, like a little backstop. Inner thighs, squeeze in. Keep that all the while. Your right heel, the outer edge of it, press it straight down until you feel your outer right glute activate. The deep, deep, deep buttocks muscles activate. Now, press your right knee into your right hand. Inner thigh squeeze in, 
right knee presses back. Inner thigh squeeze in, and right knee presses back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring a little bit of an anterior tilt to your pelvis. Exhale. Inhale, peaceful warrior, left hand to left thigh, right arm up and over. Exhale in it. Breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down right and then left. Come onto the ball of your right foot, setting up for pyramid pose. Walk your hands back. Use your blocks if needed. Inhale, flex, dorsus flex your right foot. And as you exhale, draw the knife edge of your right foot down towards the ground as close as you can. We'll try to hold here. Breath in. And out. It's an external rotation of the thigh. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, bend your right knee. Plant your hand, step back, plank breath in. Exhale, lower halfway. Set your knees down, untuck toes. Inhale, high cobra or charge your legs. Lift your knees, upward facing dog. Exhale, knees down or roll straight over your toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift high on your toes, lift your shoulders. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop. Meet to hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands at heart center. And relax your arms down. Breath in. Breath out. Use your breath to help you stay within the framework of your physical body. Inhale, feel as much as you can feel. Concentrate, focus on sensation, exhale. Meet me in tabletop, that's hands and knees, if you will. And from hands and knees, from tabletop, walk your knees a little bit more narrow. I'll turn this way so you can see me. Walk your knees a little bit more narrow, so more narrow than your hips, I should say. Push the ground away, strong core. Lift your right leg out to your right side. Breath in. Now look over at your right thigh, and as you exhale, tap your right toes to the ground. Notice your right thigh turns away from the midline of your body, the external rotation. And then inhale, imagine that you want to tap your right knee down, just for contrast, internal. Exhale, go back to the external. And then inhale, straighten your right leg, swing it behind you, cross your mat over to your left side, tuck your right toes under, look over your left shoulder in the direction of your right foot. Exhale here, stretch. And then inhale, right leg behind, right knee down. Exhale, engage core. Shake out your hands, reset. Second side, inhale, left leg goes out to your left side. Notice how your right hip might wanna sag. Can you squeeze your outer right glute muscles in towards the midline of your body? Left leg out to your left side. Now, keep your left leg bent, but look at your left thigh bone and point your left toes to the ground. Left thigh bone boots away from your body, the external rotation, and then inhale, left knee points down. Internal rotation, just for contrast. Back to external, what we're focusing on. And then inhale, left leg goes long, swing it behind you across your mat to your right side, tuck your left toes under, look over your right shoulder in the direction of your left foot. Inhale into the stretch you feel right now. Concentrated attention. Exhale, release. Left knee down. Inhale. Let's take a cow pose. Exhale, tuck toes, lift hips, press back, down dog. Inhale, lift your heels, lift into the strength of your shoulders. Exhale, bend knees. Look forward. Inhale, feet to hands. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. It's a long breath. <laughs> Inhale, rise, stand tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. And relax your arms down. Inhale. Focus on what you feel in your physical body. Exhale here. All right, shake out. 
Let me fix this mic that was holding on by a thread. Take your feet, take your feet wide. So now rather than being more narrow through than your hips with your knees, you're going opposite wide, wide, pretty wide with your feet. Bend your knees, take your hands to your thighs. Lift and spread your toes, really dig your heels down. Take the skin of your belly forward, the crown of your head up. There's a anterior tilt of your pelvis, right? If you remember from another class we've done, it's posterior and anterior, we're in anterior tilt. Breath in. As you exhale, take both hands to your right thigh and start to take more weight from your left leg to right leg. Now squeeze your right hip in, almost feel your right thigh kind of roll under. Notice your right hip will want to sag to the side, try to squeeze it in and pick up your left leg out to your left side, kind of like we just did right before this on hands and knees. So from here, take your left knee and point it skyward in that external rotation. You might fall over and if you do, make it look cool. <laughs> so it's an external rotation, left knee pointing skyward. You can always hold on to like the back of a chair or your couch or something too. And then inhale, stand tall. Exhale, shake out, reset. Feet a little wide. Sit down in your chair, lift and spread your toes. Take both hands to your left thigh. Squeeze your outer left glute in towards the midline, center of your body. Go slow, transfer more weight from your left leg, from your right leg to left leg. And then focus on pointing your right knee up, up, up to the sky. Watch. Uh, well, actually don't watch, <laughs> but listen, you want the top of your right thigh to turn away from the midline of your body. Inhale here. And exhale, set your right foot down, stand tall, shake out. Deep breath in. Let it go. Meet me at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips down. Step your right foot back and keep your right knee as it is, uh, right leg as it is. Find both of your blocks. Lift any weight that you're placing on your left thigh away. Take your hands in front of you, breath in. Exhale, slowly transfer more weight from your back leg to front leg. It's okay to keep your left knee bent a little, although straighten it if you can. Right leg straight behind. You want your hands just underneath your shoulders, whether you're on blocks or not. I suggest using blocks if you have them. So here, on an inhale, actually let me turn towards you. Let, intentionally let your left hip sag out to your left side. And when you exhale, squeeze your left hip in and then start to open up your right hip to stack over your left, like you're doing half moon. Inhale, square your right hip with your left. Intentionally let your left hip sag out to your left side. Exhale, squeeze it in and stack your right hip over left. Inhale, square your hips. Intentionally let your left hip sag to your left side. Exhale, squeeze it in, open your right hip to stack over left. So now your top thigh is in the external rotation. Inhale. Exhale, close. Right foot down. Inhale, step your left leg back. Just get your bearings here. And then as you exhale, more weight from left leg to right. Float your left leg behind you. Intentionally let your right hip sag out to your right side. Take a breath in. And then exhale, squeeze it in. Stack your left hip over your right like you're doing a half moon pose. Inhale, square your hips. So you're moving back towards an internal rotation. Intentionally sag your right hip out. Exhale, squeeze it in. Left thigh externally rotates. Left hip stacks over right. One more time. Inhale, square your pelvis. Let your right hip sag. Exhale, squeeze. Stack, breath in. Exhale, square your hips, left foot down, 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. When you exhale, bend your knees, step your right foot back, ground your right heel down, bring your blocks with you or not. Meet me with your legs wide towards the long edge of your mat. You want your feet to be either like an H shape or toes in a little bit. Press down through the outer edges of your feet. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Add an anterior tilt to your pelvis and fold forward. Hands on the ground, or you might even take your peace fingers to toe lock. Inner thighs, squeeze in. Sit bones spread and tilt up. Forehead and heart reach towards the ground. Wide-legged forward fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath on your own. Inhale, halfway lift. When you exhale, bend your knees, turn your heels in and your toes out. Walk your hands to your thighs for a goddess squat or moon squat. So as you're here, sink your hips low and press your knees back. You might even help with your hands. Press your knees back. So as you sink your hips, you're pressing your knees back. All the while, keep a sense of buoyancy beneath your seat, like a little lift, like a bounce. So inner thighs, squeeze in like crazy. Knees press back. As you squeeze your inner thighs in, your knees press back. Kind of like we practiced in the warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, we're in it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stand tall, thank God. Exhale, turn your toes forward. Heel toe your feet so they're closer together. Shake out. And take a moment here. You might even soften your gaze or close your eyes. Focus on the sensations in your physical body. You might specifically be focusing through all the muscles that support the external rotation of your thigh. You might be focused on your inner thigh that we've been actively, actively stretching a lot of. Focusing on that, keeping your attention, funneling it in this direction. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Have your blocks ready. Start with your feet, about your hips width. Hug your right knee into your chest. Take your left hand to your right foot, your right hand to your right knee, kind of like we practiced and reclined already. Breath in. And then exhale, bend your left knee, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Keep your right foot dorsiflex like we've already worked on. Do that anterior tilt. Squeeze your belly in to protect your low back. Front ribs forward, heart lifts up, crown your head lifts up, inhale. As you exhale, you might reach for your blocks. You might reach your hands to the ground, walk your hands over to your left side a little bit. Now from here, notice if your left hip is sagging out to your left side, can you squeeze your outer left glute muscles in? And then take your, actually keep your right hand down and then move your left hand so it's free off of the ground. Use your left hand, the bottom or sole of your right foot to push away so your right knee moves out to your right side and back behind a little. Stretching through all those muscles on the lateral or outside part of both hips, but really focusing on right hip right now. This will come into uh, practice with our lotus variations. Take another breath in and out. Inhale, stand tall, release your right leg. Exhale, shake out. Inhale, reset. Exhale, right here. Inhale, hug your left knee in. And when you exhale, right hand to left foot, left hand cradles left knee. Bring your left leg in closer to you. Inhale, it's that external rotation. As you exhale, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, sink your hips back and anterior tilt through your pelvis. 
Squeeze your core, ribs forward, heart up, crown your head up, breath in. And then exhale, hinge, fingertips to the ground or your blocks. Walk your hands over to your right side a bit. Keep your left hand where it is. Use your right hand free, right hand to the sole of your left foot and push your left knee over to your left side and maybe back behind you a bit. Notice if your right hip is sagging out to your right side, can you activate your outer right glute muscles? Squeeze them in towards the midline of your body. Breathe. <sighs> inhale, that's enough. Stand up. Then exhale, release, shake out. Inhale here. Exhale here. Top of your mat. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and set one knee down, opposite knee down, and then sit to your center on your mat and open your legs wide to the long edge of your mat. Or you could take your legs wide facing the top of your mat if that's just easier for how you're watching this video, how you're practicing. So legs wide, feet dorsiflexed, anterior tilt for your pelvis. You might need to sit on a blanket or a couple of blankets or a pillow or something. If you're having a hard time sitting up already just right away like this, if it's hard to actually sit up nice and tall, you might need a little bit more height underneath you. So that way you can do that anterior tilt through your pelvis we've worked on. Inhale. Exhale, hinge from your hips, fold. We'll take three breaths here. Inhale all the way up. When you exhale, hands behind, rock back, soles of your feet together, knees wide. Again, you might be on those blankets or not. It would be like if your knees are way, way higher than your hips, if it's really hard and you feel like you're being pulled back, then maybe prop yourself up on a blanket or two. Take your hands to your shins and inhale here. When you exhale, hinge from your hips and gently, gently use your forearms very gently to press your knees down towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale, very gently. Use your forearms to press your knees towards the ground. You can't quite use your forearms, maybe it's your hands. Very, very gently work your knees towards the ground. Not a lot of weight and pressure through your arms, just a little bit. Lean down and out. So it's facilitating. Now, while you're here, squeeze your feet together, squeeze your inner thighs together and keep your knees pressing towards the ground. Breath in and out. Inhale, sit up. When you exhale, take your left leg back behind you. So you have like a 45, 45 through your legs and you can stay here or left leg goes long in pigeon pose. You can place those one or two blankets underneath your right glute if it won't quite touch the ground. Walk your hands over to your left side a little bit. You might stay here or drop to elbows. Go free through your right hand and use your right hand to your inner right knee and press it down and away. So down and towards your right side, just a little bit of pressure there. It's a little self-assist. Take a breath in and out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath on your own. Focus your awareness on the sensation you feel in your body, especially on your right thigh. Focus on the sensation you feel in your right knee. Inhale, come up to your center. And then exhale. Bear more weight in your arms. Lift up and out of the shape by swinging your left leg around through 
to our butterfly position. And then right leg goes back. Make your legs 45, 45 and stay here. Or you can swing your right leg behind you and pigeon. Use a blanket underneath your left glute if needed. Walk your hands over to your left side as you breathe in. And then exhale, maybe walk your forearms to the ground, maybe not. Go free with your left hand if you can and use your left hand to your inner left knee and thigh. You're pressing down and away, so down into your left side. It's a little assist to help a self-assist stretch through your outer left glute, inner left thigh, which are things that need to be stretched for half lotus or full lotus or padmasana. Inhale. And exhale. Another breath in and out. And on this breath in and out, focus on the sensations in your left hip and thigh. And then inhale, press yourself up. Exhale, bear weight in your arms, lift up and out of the shape. Bring one leg to cross in front of the other. So we're made it, it is time to rock back towards our peak posture of half lotus or full lotus. I wanna give you a demo first. We'll demo and then do. So I find that doing this posture reclined is a lot easier on the body, a lot easier on the knees. And our knees are, their sensitive joints. And so we wanna be extra kind. And when we recline back, we sort of take that intense gravity out of the equation. I mean, not fully, obviously, but it can be a little bit more accessible. And from there, there will be an opportunity to do something like how we did in our warm ups, where we were rocking up into a cross legged shape. There'll be an opportunity to come into an upright lotus if, that, if, it's, if it's working for you, but you have to decide for you. This is where that effortful focus comes into play where you have to really focus on how you feel in your body and what decisions to make from there. So let me show you and then we'll do together and I'll just show you on this side. So you'll start by taking your left leg in just as close to you as possible like we've already done, kind of like we practiced in that half happy baby originally. So it's like a pigeon pose, but you're reclined. And then you'll point your left toes, take the top of your left foot to your right thigh, it might be the middle of your right thigh, you might be able to get closer to your hip, crease. Inner thigh, squeeze in here, your left knee presses away, away from your body. So this is where you can stay or you can, like you would in a figure four stretch, bring your right knee in with you. And I'm pressing my left foot into my right leg. I feel this at my left hip and that external rotation, I feel that here. I don't feel anything in my left knee. If you feel something in your left knee, set your right foot down. If you don't and you want to explore, it's the same thing. You take your hands to your right shin and see, can I bring it closer to my body? Can I take the top of my right foot to the middle of my left thigh or higher to my hip crease? So you're in a half or a full lotus. And this is a good place to say your feet are active, pushing into your thighs. Your knees are pressing away inner thigh squeeze in, you might stay here. Or you might use your hands, the back of your thighs, press down through your elbows to rock all the way up. You may or may not hinge. All right, so let's do this together. Um, actually, let me show you how I come out too. I'll rock out. I like to rock to one side and then take my legs out of the pretzel shape. You can shake your legs out. Let's do this together from your back. 